Hi, this is Vaughn with Spirit of Health. Hey, I want to talk to you today about the effects of caffeine, alcohol, and white sugar, white flour, grains, all of those items on our hormone health specifically. So caffeine, okay, I'm just playing with you. Um, but you know, we've all been in and out of caffeine over the years, and I want to talk seriously about the effects of these items on our endocrine system, our hormonal system, specifically the adrenal glands. That's what's really majorly affected when you have a lot of stress and anxiety and you're doing a lot of sugar and um, caffeine and things that are stimulants to uh, negatively affect the adrenal glands and cause fatigue over time. So we have to understand that a lot of these issues we're dealing with adrenal fatigue is overstimulation over time. Caffeine for years and years and years causes wiped out adrenal glands. Sugar for years and years and years cause wiped out adrenal glands. And so we want to learn how to balance those things naturally and we want to understand the negative cascade that happens when we consume these things and the effect that it has on our glandular system. Let's just say it this way. I am absolutely as guilty as all of you in doing sugar and caffeine and all those things over the years. It's the American lifestyle, it's our culture, um, it's not an excuse. We have to learn the truth. We have to learn that really what we need to focus on is peace, calm, relaxation, be still and know that I am God. Because the Bible tells us that we should be calm and relax and hearing his voice. And I tell you, in our culture of overstimulation, that's hard. You really got to put yourself in a meditative state, a prayer-like state, take peace and time away. And that's where we need to be. We need to be calm and relaxed. And so you can practice that in your lifestyle through sleep and prayer and meditation and different things. Um, but you can also get away from the stimulants. Because what happens is when we're stressed and we're anxious, and we're drinking caffeine. What happens when you drink a cup of coffee or um, to a much lesser effect, of course, the green tea and the yerba mate is much better choices. But if you overdo caffeine, overdo chocolate, overdo coffee, overdo soda, those really strong uh, caffeinated items, it starts to produce adrenaline, cortisol to manage the stress response, the adrenaline rush. Um, affects the, it gets into the bloodstream, it affects the heart. So you think about the rapid heartbeat, the um, nervousness, the anxiety. Uh, a lot of people struggle with rapid heartbeat, irregular heart rhythms. Uh, people are going to the doctor and they're giving them all kinds of crazy drugs and um, beta blockers and they're doing these crazy surgeries. Um, to people, ablations, where I've actually cauterized the heart. I mean, I did a whole class on that because it just, it, it was driving me crazy. It was so sad to see all these uh, doctors completely having no understanding that the problem with most people's hearts related to irregular heart rhythms is dehydration, mineral deficiencies, and adrenal problems. And you could avoid so much unnecessary drugs and surgeries by addressing it this way. So again, the cascade is Caffeine stimulates the adrenals to produce adrenaline, goes into the bloodstream, triggers a rapid heartbeat, and that is over time exhausts the adrenal glands. And some people get to the point where they're so sensitive to caffeine that this much caffeine, boom, it just wires them. They feel the nervousness, the stress, the anxiety. They can't sleep at night. So you got to get away from it. And it's a clear sign that you have really weak adrenals and you need to strengthen and build your adrenal glands. So that's why we encourage people to get away from caffeine, alcohol. And when I say sugar, I'm talking really all complex sugars, the grains, even the natural sugars like the agaves and the maple syrup, it's cane sugar, all of those things. Alcohol has the same effect. It's a sugar. Alcohol is a sugar, alcohol sugar. And so the alcohol has a quicker, more dangerous stimulating effect on the bloodstream and the adrenals because it's a, like liquid sugar. And so what happens with the excess of sugar intake is that causes the body to go into a hyper um, state of high sugar and then a hypo state of low blood sugars. So hyperglycemia, hypoglycemia, this roller coaster effect. It's the same thing that caffeine does. And what that, instead of being balanced, you're always in this state of 
stimulate, sedate, stimulate, sedate, and then when your system crashes, you feel like you need more sugar, you need more caffeine. And so the adrenals are so important, that's why I'm highlighting the negative effects of eating these foods related to the adrenals, is because the adrenals kind of, they control a lot of the things related to the kidneys, the nerves, the nervous system. When the adrenals go out, the thyroid starts to go out and it just starts to negatively affect the whole body. And so the adrenals are crucial to our hormone health and too much of these foods will cause negative effects long term. So getting away from the stimulating slash sedating effects of the caffeine and the sugar that causes the highs and the lows, we want to do fruits and vegetables, uh, nuts and seeds, uh, things that create sustainable energy over time, the healthy fats like the olive oil. I mean, these things will give us energy, but it's sustained. And that's the great thing. That's what I see a lot of times when people get off of caffeine. Like, you know, I'm not saying drinking a cup of coffee a day is bad. I mean, there's a lot of articles about the health benefits of uh, coffee or caffeine. It is a plant that God made. I know that. The problem is, is we overdo it. We use it three, four, five times a day just to function. We've been doing it for years and years and years. And again, we've always been in go mode. We haven't been in rest and relax mode and we need to heal. Our bodies need to heal. I mean, what else can I say? It's just, we, I know that me and our family, we need to get into a place of more rest and less million miles an hour. And a lot of it, again, that's cultural, but we have to choose how we live our lives. And so I really just encourage you to um, be more balanced, use fruits, vegetables, healthy fats, nuts, seed to have a balancing effect on the body, get away from the things that trigger the adrenaline rush, the sugar rushes and the sugar highs and lows. And those are these main three things. The, the, the main three, what, I mean, could you argue that they're the most addictive things probably in our culture because of this effect that it's having on our body? We're not stable, we're high and low. And so the caffeine does that, the alcohol does that, and then the, uh, again, the white sugar, the white flours, uh, all the grains, all the complex sugar molecules cause that negative cascade, that negative effect on the body as well. So hope this helps. Hope it encourages you to maybe move away from those things and move into more stable, balancing nutrients and lifestyle program that can bring you more balanced, even keel um, health to your adrenals and to the rest of your glandular system.